hello guys especially welcome to my channel in this video i will teach you how to remove an add-on domain so this is my cpanel right now i'm already logged in so if you need to do this you need to log in into your cpanel i'm using a name chip cpanel so yours might be a little bit different if i scroll to the bottom it's clearly written here that my add-on domains are two what this means is i have two over two it means i have used all my slots this particular hosting details allows you to add up to two websites to the original, the main website on this cPanel, make it new websites. There is a particular add-on domain I want to remove because the domain has expired and I do not want to renew it. Next, I'll simply click on manage. If you don't want to go from here or you can't find it, all you simply need to do is to scroll to the bottom until you see these options where you have domains. Simply click on domains and it will be a list of all the domains that have been added on this cPanel. Take note that each of these domains are full websites on their own. And this particular hosting package is very cheap and affordable, so it helps you to save more money, especially if you are working with clients whose budgets are quite small. Once you click on domains, it's going to bring you to this page. And you can see uh, the two other domains that I added and then this is the link of the main domain. And, and I want to remove this one that is in the middle because the domain has expired. If I go to the website, you can see it's showing a name chip team page. So next thing I'm going to do is I'll simply come to the right hand side and I'll click on manage. Once I click on manage, I simply scroll to the bottom and I'll see this option that says remove domain. I'll simply click on remove domain. I say yes, remove this domain. I'll go ahead and click on yes, remove this domain. And then the domain will be removed. Most of the time, even when you remove this domain, the database details will remain and the web files will still remain on your cPanel. So you can decide to ignore them, it doesn't really matter, or you can just go ahead and remove it. I can do WordPress by my left hand side, I can see WordPress Manager by Software Colors. If you can't find it here, you can simply click on cPanel and it will take you to the same destination. We are here right now. I can also uninstall the web files from here where I have the installation at this point. But it doesn't really matter, like I said, you can leave it. Or you can simply come here and click on the cPanel icon to take you to the cPanel area. And then you scroll down until you see File Manager. Where you have files, you click on File Manager. And then under File Manager, it will tell you, show you that particular domain and where the web files are located. So what you simply need to do is highlight it, click on Delete at the top. Or you can right click on it and then you also see the Delete option. And click on Skip to Trash Permanently and Confirm. You can see my page has refreshed and the domain no longer appears here. If this video helped you, do not forget to see the subscribe button. In the next video, I will teach you how you can install another add-on domain that I'm using to replace the one that I just removed. So watch out, do not forget to hit the subscribe button as I bring you more tutorials.